Hi everyone, it's Matthew and uh, I'm back with another video. And uh, today I decided I would do a slightly different video. I decided I'd do a video on uh, how, how to fix a uh, very high uh, CPU usage in Windows 7 or the thing where you just get 100% uh, CPU usage all the time. And it's really not necessary to have that so I'm going to show you how to fix it uh, so the first thing that I did uh, is uh, you press control or delete you start the task manager and uh, this window will come up here and um, basically um, you'll click on the performance tab and click on resource monitor and uh, you'll have uh, this window here um, telling you a load of processes that are running that you can't see when you go into the task manager um, anyway so um, one of the big users for me is this one here the IA store data mrgsve.exe this for me is unnecessary I don't really know what it does I've looked it up and some people say it's dangerous so I just click whenever it starts off I just click the spend process to spend it and then my CPU usage as you can see goes down quite a bit now obviously it's still being used because obviously um, Uh, OBS is running and that's obviously using CPU usage um, as well um, but normally at idle this PC would run at uh, zero CPU usage um, anyway uh, so let's give another now if that doesn't work you don't have anything like that uh, you can always try going into task manager task manager again and go to the processes tab now here um, there's various things you can do um, you can end processes or you can click something like this show process from processes from all users and uh, see what's using a load of it um, and you can sort by memory or CPU um, as you can see this one here is using a lot of uh, CPU usage and it's a system thing so you can't actually uh, end it unfortunately but if you just sort by memory and you set that off uh, this, these are the processes you probably can sort of tweak with or end uh, like if you tweak with steam for example you right click on it and set ifinity uh, you get this window here that will say how many processors cores the cores in your processor you want to allow this process to use and simply just untick that and I would say if you have like the 8 cores or if you have a 8 logical core CPU I'd say select 4 if you have a 4 core I'd select I know, 2 and if it's a dual core I'd select 1 core um, now in some cases you can just select more or just untick but yeah that's that's the way you do it uh, especially with a process like Google Chrome uh, I set it to so it can only use half of the CPU maximum with a certain amount of tabs open um, so it does it's in, it isn't constantly using so much CPU usage uh, now of course games they use a ton of CPU usage and you can't really do a lot about that uh, you, could also, you could obviously limit it down a bit by doing what I just did um, but it wouldn't, it would stop the performance being as good, uh, which is a bit of a problem really, uh, but anyway, so that's pretty much it, um, so I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this video, you know, do make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, and tell me if you want more of these tutorials on how to fix various issues, um, anyway, for now. Thanks very much for watching and till next time, salute.